Hi, I'm Joe, and today I got another dungeon in a box. <laughs> Let's crack in. All right, so for those keeping score at home, this is the third dungeon in a box I've received. I grabbed my knife. Actually, this looks like it's supposed to just unwrap. Success. All right, same design on the outside of the box. Uh, it was the same design on boxes one and two, so the fact that they reused the design for three as well, not surprising. This looks cool. Pillar of the Giants. And I see what looks like a dragon on the front. Uh, this is supposed to be an adventure for a level three party, so... I'm not sure how dragony this dragon is going to be. It's called a Gilded Dragon. Very cool. All of the jewelry on it is giving me strong Voyage of the Dawn Treader vibes. You know what? I'm gonna open it up. I wanna see in here what we got. Oh, look at that guy. That is a good, fun mini. Oh, okay. We also have a Dwarven Artificer. I see, like, mechanical dragon wings, and a spyglass, and a hammer. Strong World of Warcraft vibes. Like, more what you think of with WoW gnomes than WoW dwarves, but definitely getting that same tone of <laughs> magic and technology. <laughs> I don't know why I did Skeletor voice. It's just what came out. So yeah, Dwarven Artificer. I love those, like, cogs on the back of his wings. That's really cool. All right, so there's the minis that showed up with it. So this was called Pillar of the Giants, and there is definitely a giant in here. Actually, that is a Cyclops. I see a Cyclops. I see some sort of hippogriff, griffin kind of creatures. Yeah, bird head and wings and cat-like body. I see what's... Almost definitely cockatrices. There's that Dwarven Artificer, some cloud pillars, and a couple of side characters. Real strong um, Odyssey vibes. I think mostly because of the Cyclops, but this definitely feels like the Odyssey. And that's before I've cracked open anything. Well, two characters. Based on months past, I assume there's going to be a choice in the campaign that leaves you choosing between these two characters. Ooh, okay. I see wood and planks and pipes. I think this Dwarven Artificer might have a artificery hold of his own. Ooh, that's exciting. These look so fun. And then we've got some maps. Always love a map. This has been like my favorite thing in these, is that I get good battle maps. Like, this kind of stuff is hard to come by sometimes. Let's see, what am I looking at here? This looks like the upper level of some kind of keep. Probably a study of this Dwarven Artificer, if I had to guess. And then this looks like stone steps up to an altar. This side of the map is very, very simple. I know I mentioned Voyage of the Dawn Treader, but I'm getting strong Lion Witch in the Wardrobe vibes from this map. So, who knows, maybe I'm just thinking of Narnia and that's my weird hang-up this month, but... What I'm going to do, I'm going to read through the adventure, let you know what I think of it. I am also going to assemble the pieces that need assembling, because I want to see what they look like, and I hope you do as well, because I'm going to show it to you. So, yeah. Hope you're into that, because this is happening. Be right back. I really like this adventure. One thing I like, and I noticed this with this one and the one before... The world they're building here is very culturally rich, if that makes sense. Um, this one, like the last one, really delved into what the people in this world believe uh, religiously and stuff. Um, the dragon, very neat character already. I am fascinated by it. The story of this one kind of felt like a tragic romance with like those sea vibes. It felt something like... Maybe The Tempest or King Lear, if that makes sense. Uh, definitely got that sort of, uh, yeah, almost Shakespearean tragic romance to this. Uh, I told you I was going to put the pieces together, 
and I didn't. Um, I'm pretty sure this one's together correctly. The rest of these, I can't really wrap my head around how they're all supposed to go. Um, I worked out putting the base on the pillars, but there's like... Yeah, this came with... What was it? 12 pillars, but 14 bases. So I don't know where the other two bases are supposed to go. I think these are some kind of staircase. Um, anyway, I tweeted at Dungeon in a Box. Hopefully they'll get back to me and let me know if there's a link to a guide somewhere for how all of this goes together, because um, everything in the boxes up to now has been pretty intuitive, so it didn't bother me or I didn't notice that there wasn't a guide for assembly. This one, it has me stumped. Still though, the adventure is intriguing to me. I love the way this adventure is progressing. Um, mechanically, it's a mountain climbing adventure, but like I said, narratively, it's like a tragic romance, kind of. Um, and yeah, these minis are just some of the best they've sent so far, I think. Like this, this dragon will get mileage in tabletop campaigns for me, I am sure. So anyway, all of that said, another great addition for Dungeon in a Box. Um, I will anticipate and watch and hope that I hear back from the Dungeon in a Box crew with some directions on how to put all this together. But other than that, real, real happy with this still. Great subscription, and uh, I am excited to see where they go next. <laughs> see y'all later. Thank you for watching. Please share the video with a friend or several friends, and let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see me draw in a future video. Later, y'all!